Welcome to Purple Trading, where we offer you C-Trader, the incredibly comprehensive platform that has raised the standards in the online trading industry. In an earlier video, we showed you how to create links in C-Trader Desktop and C-Trader Web, and in this video, we will take this one step further and look at templates and workspaces. Templates are used to save and recall configurations within charts, like indicators, viewing options, scale, and price action options. Workspaces are used to save and recall configurations in your entire desktop, including the chart and platform layout, symbols, quick trade parameters, and many others. Let's go back to the multiple time frame configuration we made earlier, with all the charts showing the same symbol on different time frames. If we like this configuration and we don't want to have to recreate it every time, we may save it as a workspace. Let's call this one multi time frame and save it. If we change workspaces or in fact close the platform and relaunch it, this workspace will always be there. Any workspace you create in CTrader Web will be available online anywhere in the world under this CTrader ID, and any workspaces you set up on CTrader Desktop 3.7 or higher will be available on any Windows operating system under the same CTrader ID. As an added bonus on CTrader Desktop, should you have any detached charts or parts of your trade watch on separate monitors, the workspace will remember. As an example, let's say you like to trade Canadian dollar pairs and you want to monitor the price of crude oil alongside. Create a workspace called CAD Oil and we will add a 4-hour chart on US crude CL, with no link, a 4-hour chart on dollar CAD with no link, and a third chart with another loony pair, CAD Yen for example, with a link set to the same color as the active symbol panel. To give us more space, we diminish the main menu and hide the trade watch. With the third chart linked to the active symbol panel, we may view any other CAD pairs to find the ideal trading opportunity. Keep in mind that the workspace will also save the time frames on each chart. We will look at technical indicators in a later video, but now it is important to know that CTrader can save any configuration in templates. Add an indicator like Bollinger Bands and perhaps the Stochastic Oscillator, and save this configuration as a template by clicking on the Template icon and give it an appropriate name. We can now add this configuration to any chart by applying the template. Templates can also be added and saved by right-clicking on the chart. Let's set up a new one for indices. Create a naked chart by right-clicking and selecting Objects List and deleting everything. Now, let's add a simple moving average at 100 periods and another one at 200 periods of a different color. Set the chart for D1 or Daily Candles. Save this as a template as Index and ensure that the default box is ticked next to its name. Now, this configuration will be applied to any new chart. Back to our workspace and we create a new one called Indices and clear all the charts except one. Change the symbol to any index and apply the index template. Now, find all the other indices that you would like to add, right-click on each one and select New Chart. As we see, each new chart opens with our saved configuration and we have a special workspace dedicated for this asset class. That's all for now. We hope you will enjoy this CTrader desktop and web video series and embarking on your new exciting trading journey with Purple Trading. Thanks for watching and don't forget to be purple.